Today on Munson Made This, I am making a no-bake blueberry cheesecake. Ryan Little. <laughs> We can. It'll be good. Go. Am I red? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're recording too. Let's go. I know, I know. <laughs> Today's recipe is something that a friend gave me, told me to try out. I tried it, loved it. Thought it would be perfect for you all to make for Valentine's Day. It's essentially a raw blueberry cheesecake. It has a crust made of almonds and dates, and it has an amazing creamy cheesecake base made out of cashews. So. Stick around and I'll show you how to make it. Active time on this recipe is maybe about 10 minutes. I have my crust ingredients right here. It's just raw almonds, about a half cup of pitted dates, and a pinch of salt. Let's grab the food processor and blend this stuff up. I paused it here in the middle just to stir it around. Uh, I still have some pretty big chunks of nuts and dates, so I'm gonna keep going. You want it to be kind of this texture of sand and uh, it to be able to stick together when you pinch it in your fingers. So it's been going about a minute and I can tell already from the way that it's coming together that it's, uh, ready to go, it's sticky. I don't wanna keep it going too much cause it'll get too hot. Um, but I do still have a few bigger chunks of almonds, but I'm gonna be okay with that. So now it's time to formulate it or, not formulate it, uh, transfer it to my pie pan and uh, begin to create a crust. I have lined my pie pan here with a piece of plastic wrap. And I know we're all trying to use less plastic in our lives, but I really don't know a better solution for this because you want to be able to stick the crust into it and be able to get it out later. And uh, if you were to do this without any plastic, you would not be able to get it out of the pan. So that's why I have it lined with a piece of plastic wrap. And then I'm just going to dump the crust ingredients into the pie pan. Now, if you've ever had a Lara bar, that's pretty much what this crust resembles. So I'm just gonna work here with my hands and push this into the bottom and up on the sides. As you can see, it's sticking to my fingers a little bit. If that's happening to you, just moisten your fingers with a little bit of water and continue to push it into the bottom and up the sides. One thing with processed foods that are made by machine, they don't have the handmade love put into them. So the fact that you're using your fingers to create this shows that you're putting extra love into this food. Now, as you can see, it's sticking here, a little too much love, and I'm going to moisten my hands again. So as I'm working this, trying to get it into this crust, uh, I'm making sure that the bottom is smooth and pretty much even throughout. I'm making sure that it goes up the sides, that I don't have any uh, really thin areas. It helps with the glass plate because I can kind of see the light shining through. Uh, if you do see some areas that maybe are a little bit thicker, you can just pinch it off and put it into areas where it's a little bit thinner. But the idea is to get the bottom as flat as possible and as thin as possible without it tearing or ripping apart and then getting it up the sides and just kind of uh, as even as possible. At first, when you start working this in here, you might think that you don't have enough crust, that there's not enough to fill your pie pan, uh, pie pan but uh, keep working it and you will. Once it's all around the edges, up the sides, flat on the bottom, it's time to put it in the freezer while you prepare the filling ingredients.
I've just laid out all the ingredients that I need for the creamy base of my pie. I have agave syrup, I have cashews, coconut oil, salt, vanilla, and some lemons that I will be juicing. So I'm gonna put these into the food processor. Uh, the full recipe for this will be down below, so if you don't catch the exact measurements, just follow the link below to the full recipe. So let's get these in the food processor. I haven't even bothered to clean my food processor after making the crust, because it's not necessary. To the food processor, I'm adding one and a half cups of cashews that have been soaking for probably about four hours. I have a third cup of coconut oil that is mostly melted. Um, it'll become the rest of the way melted as I process this. Tuffy's just licking up who knows what off the ground. Uh, the original recipe that I got called for honey, but of course honey is not vegan, so I am using agave syrup instead, and I'm adding a half cup of that. Notice it's a third of a cup of oil, half cup of agave. Yes, that is a lot of sugar and oil, but this is an entire pie and it's a dessert. And even though this is mostly healthy, uh, it does have some sugar and fat in it, especially from the cashews. I'm adding just a pinch of salt to balance out the sweetness. I'm adding just probably about a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then the last thing I need to add is the juice of two lemons. So the lemons add a nice acidity that really brings out a lot of the flavor, and the coconut oil really is a necessary component because it is what creates the structural integrity of the base of this pie. So don't use any other oil uh, because it's that coconut oil, once it cools off, it'll really keep everything together. So let's blend this up and then we'll pour it into the pie. This has been blending for probably about a minute, minute and a half, and it's a very creamy consistency, as you can see. So now it's time to take the crust out of the freezer, and I'm gonna be pouring half of this into that pie shell crust. Putting in the freezer just helps it set up a tiny bit before you do this step. So again, I'm pouring half of this in here. You can just eyeball it. it. Smells amazing. The lemon juice really comes through as well as the vanilla. So I'm going to put this in the freezer with just this bottom layer in there. And then it's time to add the blueberries. I bet you've been wondering, this is supposed to be a blueberry cheesecake. Where's the blueberries? We're adding those now. Just going to scrape the sides down and then I'm adding a cup of fresh blueberries. I don't recommend using frozen just because of the moisture content. Um, you want this to still have some, some integrity so the blueberries fresh um, won't mess it up too much and add too much water. I did not fully blend these up. I did want them to have like a little bit of, I don't know if it's texture is the right word, but when you look at it, it still has some flex of blueberry just for uh, aesthetics. So now I'm gonna take that back out of the freezer. It's only been in there maybe like another minute, but take it back out of the freezer and pour this on top. And that's it, we've made a pie. It just needs to hang out in the freezer for two hours before you cut it. Uh, if you don't wanna eat it after those two hours, you can remove it from the freezer and put it in the fridge and hold it there, um, or just start devouring it after those first two hours. So let's get it in the freezer. It has been two hours, we've lost a little bit of light. I have made sushi. It's time to take this beauty out of the freezer. A 
look at that. I actually did sneak in there and take a little bit of the uh, saran wrap off the edges, but she's set up. She's a beautiful blue color, purple color. Let's cut into it. First slice is always the most difficult to get out, but see, I did this one okay. Uh, the line between the two isn't as visible on this. It got smeared a little bit, but if you look at the actual pie, you can see the beautiful layers between the bottom and the top. Now, be careful as you're pulling this out because of the plastic wrap, you wanna make sure to get your knife or whatever you're using to pull the pie out between the plastic and between the, uh, the pie plate. Sometimes it has a tendency to get a little bit mixed up or whatever. I've, I've dropped a few slices, let's just say that, before uh, trying to get it out and messing with the plastic wrap. So just be cautious of that. Uh, again, this was in the freezer for two hours. If you don't wanna eat it after those two hours, take it out and put it in the fridge. Uh, you can put it back in the freezer for a little bit to firm up if it feels a bit soft, but it should be ready to go directly out of the fridge uh, once you've done that initial two hour uh, freeze in the freezer. So let's give it a taste. You can think about this dessert in a couple of different ways. You can think of it as a no-bake cheesecake, or you can think of it as something healthier, a raw blueberry cheesecake. Either way, it's delicious, it's amazing, and it takes very little effort. Again, you can please somebody special in your life by making this for them, and it'd be a perfect dessert for the end of whatever meal you make for them. So, let's give it a taste. The lemon really comes through. It's so bright and fresh, and it's got that nice, well, crust is not really the right word for it, but that's what it is. It's kind of got a nice softness, but it adds a depth of flavor to the brightness of the rest of the dish. Uh, like I said, you could make this with any berry that you wanted. This one is blueberries, uh, which are perfect. It's kind of cool the way that the berries change the texture of the top layer while the bottom layer, which is just the cashews and the coconut oil kind of stays a little bit more dense. But yeah, it's delicious, it's great, and it'll be perfect for the end of any meal that you create. So give this a try. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it around, and uh, give it a try for yourself. If you do, take a picture, put it on Instagram, tag me, hashtag Munson made this. Uh, I'll be back next week with another video, and you have a great week. I'm gonna finish this up.